Hello, Asianpreneurs, and welcome to episode 95 of the Daily List Report. Man, we are closing in on our 100th episode on the show. Thank you so much for your viewership, your loyalty, your comments and engagement. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please consider so doing so now. Click the little bell to be notified of future episodes. We don't want you to miss any of this great content. A couple weeks ago, we did our first episode with our very own Ashley Music, who gave some tips and tutorials on Canva. If you didn't check out that episode, make sure you watch it right after you watch this one. Today, Ashley is back, and she's going to give you even more tips and tricks for how to get the most out of Canva. Tremendous product that really puts the power of graphic design right into your hands for somebody who's not a professional designer. So without further ado, here's Ashley. Hi, Agentpreneurs. Welcome back to those of you who watched my last Canva tutorial. To those who didn't, hello, my name's Ashley and I'm a communication specialist here at List Reports. Today, I just wanted to go over how to incorporate videos into your social media assets without needing any video editing software or anything more than the basic training that I gave you in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. That'll go over the basics of adding text, changing colors, using templates, all of that. So today we're gonna just go slightly higher level and just go in right into how to drag and drop videos and edit them together to make your social media assets pop. So let's get started. So I'm gonna use a few of the same templates that I used in the previous video, just so it's familiar to you. But again, Canva has so many templates that you can use. Go ahead and you can search. You can search real estate and it'll come up with a bunch of templates over here in this tab and it's all great. So let's say that you want to use this template again and you wanna drag in a new video. All you have to do is go to your uploads folder, upload an image or video. I've already done this, so I'm just gonna use some of the videos that Rod so generously provided in his episode where he did a virtual open house tour. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It has some really good tips in it. Um, but all you have to do is drag it, the video, whatever video you want, choose the video and drag it into place. If there's already already an existing video right there, you simply have to drag it and it will replace itself in the same dimensions. Now, let's say you're like, okay, that's kind of cropped weird or there's something there I don't like. If you simply double click on the video, you can reframe it so you can either make it bigger, so you're zooming in, you can recrop it, you can drag it side to side, however you wanna reframe it. I kind of like it centered, so I'm gonna leave it. But you can just recrop, reframe, however you want, just like that. And then double click and it goes back to it and you have this nice listing video that you can just watch with your branding on the front, a little tagline, whatever messaging you want, it's all right there. And what I love about this is when your followers are scrolling through social media, this is gonna be super eye-catching compared to static or other social media posts that other people are making. This is an instant video of a home and hopefully you're gonna put the address in your name and it's gonna really grab their attention and make them go, ooh, whoa, like how much is that? I wanna know more. So this is just a great way um, to capture attention and get that attention and engagement from your followers with just a little bit of motion. So I really think motion changes the game. So let me show you how to do it without a template, just in case you don't really love what you're seeing, you don't love, you can change the colors obviously, but if you don't really see any templates that are working for you, you can totally create your own with very basic elements. So first, I'm, I really like this little tag box over here. So I'm just going to click on it, hold the shift bar, and then click on the two text box boxes inside of it, and then hit Command Copy, scroll down, click, and hit Command V, or that's Paste. So what's great about that, if you missed it, you're holding the Shift button, and that way you can click on multiple elements and copy, paste, or drag them around at the same time. So I love that because it acts as a group button, so you can just grab, copy, paste, all at the same time. Now, if you want to do your own video, but you're not really sure how you want to frame it, how to drop it in, go over to Elements. And if you go down here, if you see this little section, it's called Frames. And what I love about this is Frames, it's like a photo frame. And so it's already cropped for you if you want a different, interesting shape. They have all these different circles or squiggly, I don't know what that is, star circle thing. But what I love is they also have really cool graphics that you can drop in. So let's say you're trying to promote a virtual open house. You can go ahead and choose this computer icon, which I think is a great way to indicate, hey, this is completely virtual, open house, online, all you need is computer. You can resize it. You wanna send it to the back. So what I mean by that is you choose position and you click backwards. 
and that puts it behind your text so that your text really stands out. And then you can simply drag and drop your video, same as before, and you can just drag whatever video you want and drop it in, and it looks amazing. Like, look at that. It's so cool. It looks like it's contained in a computer. That's really going to get your point across that, hey, virtual open house, you can add messaging around it. This gives you room to add your headshot, add some more details down here, the time, uh, the Zoom link, whatever you need, all of that right there. And what's great is let's say you don't like how this is cropped. If you double click, you can then drag it. So you say, okay, it's cutting off the good section. So I'm going to move it there. So now double click again, and now it's cropped the way you want it. And if you go up to the top here and find these scissors, let's say the video is too long or there's a beginning or an end that's just kind of an awkward transition, you can just go here and trim it slightly by moving these little blue bars and just bringing them closer to the center. And that's gonna let you trim off a few seconds. If you're like, oh, eight seconds is kind of long. I'll just do five seconds or six seconds. That's perfect. And then you hit done. And now your video is automatically trimmed. So you don't have to have fancy video editing software. You don't have to do any of that. You just click a few buttons and there you go. You have a beautiful video ready to go. You can download it as a video so it'll play once or as a GIF so it'll be on loop. And then that way you can just share it on social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever you want. And that is gonna get your followers attention. So let me just go over a few other templates to show you um, that you've probably seen before, but we I'll show you how you can make them really pop with just some added video. All right, so this is a previous asset that I already created. And I, you know, if you wanna check out the previous video, I went over how to match colors to your photos, a couple other cool tricks, so that's always great. But I just wanted to show, again, you can really easily drag in a video and just fill the same template, but use that video to your advantage. Because in my opinion, motion captures the eye. So when you're scrolling through Instagram and Facebook and you're seeing photo after photo, you're, you just stop paying attention. You're not really stopping to take in the details. But a video and the motion of a video of watching this happen, when you see this and you click on it or you're just scrolling by and you see this pan of this lovely living room, your brain, you're going to wait, wait, let me process. What is that? And you're going to stop. And I think your followers will stop and pay, pay attention. And what I love about this template, it is actually gives you room to put your name and your brand, times, details, this is already built in. So I just think that's a cool template and I just wanted to show you again that you can take almost any template and replace any sort of photo with a video, just drag and drop super easily. And then just to reemphasize that point about motion catching the eye, this is that template I use that has the stickers on it that are already really moving, eye catching. This is where you wanna download it as a GIF so that it keeps looping. But what I've done is instead of having two still photos, I put a lovely still photo of the outside of the home, but now I have this kitchen video that really allows you to really see this pan and it's just, again, eye-catching. It's just really gonna capture your followers' attention and give them more detail. And I think that's what followers like, right? They like to see a little bit of your personality and a little bit more detail than just click here to learn more. So this video is a little bit of a teaser. It kind of gets their, peaks their interest, gets their attention, and makes them kind of say, ooh, that's a nice kitchen. I wonder what the rest of the house looks like. And they can click in. So now let me show you another template you can use to add more videos to really give your followers and your potential buyers more information. So I really love these two templates because you can put multiple videos on them. So again, you can create your own or you can use a pre-made one. These are both pre-made that I've just kind of added a little bit of sample text and then the videos that I wanted to use. And what's awesome about this is I'll play them for you in a moment, but when you download them, these videos all play at the same time. And so what you're doing is you're giving your followers the chance to see multiple rooms in a house and whether that's clips from a virtual, uh, virtual open house. So you've taken videos extensively for this purpose. Here's a way to repurpose them for free, eye-catching, getting more people's attention, giving them more information and getting your listing out there. Or you could put a video of yourself in the middle slot. And so then you're talking directly to your buyers as they're seeing the, this beautiful home being showcased in the other two sections of the video. So there's a lot of different possibilities, but what I just love is it gives so much more information. When you're looking for homes, or you're touring for homes, and, or even if you don't think you are and you see something that catches your eye, the more information you have, the more interested you're gonna be. So that's what I really love. And then I also did an example of this template where I've added a few little stickers to be a little more eye-catching. And I love this vertical setup. When you're recording videos, I think Rod gives this tip in his episode, you always wanna record horizontally because it just looks better on the phone and when you go to use the video later. But in this one, I love this template because it takes the horizontal videos and crops them vertically so it looks really nice when they flow together. So let me show you that. 
So here's the video, the first video. And as you can see, when you play it, I'm going to move my mouse. So there you go. So when you play it, you can see all three videos are going at once and it just really grabs your eye. And the top video kind of hovers for a minute, gives you time to pause and glance down at the others. It just really, it gives you a great overview of the home. And I think that that's really going to engage your buyers and make them say, oh, whoa, I really like the look of that. Or wow, that's a big living room, a lot of space. Or I love that fireplace. It just gives them detail to latch onto, which I love. And then in the second video, where you have the vertical view, what I love is that the videos kind of blend into each other. And if you, you know, if you even video with the template in mind, you could really make it smooth and make it look like a transition where all the videos are panning the same way and then pan back. So you can really coordinate a lot of different ways to make this look really nice. But I just love this because, again, if I was scrolling through Instagram, this would look amazing. This would capture my attention. I would want to know more. I would click into your profile and go see the listing. So. That's just another way to really get the attention of your followers, be eye catching, not need to invest a lot of money in video editing software or be that good at it because trust me, I'm not. <laughs> this is all self-trained. Again, Canva just makes it really easy. It's a free tool, free account. So I just wanted to give you guys that tutorial so that you could use video and integrate it more into your tools and your assets to make everything pop and really just feel like you're putting your best foot forward. And I really think investing and putting videos of yourself on your assets, talking about a listing would also engage people. My personal tip is just the more personality you can put into your social media, the better. Because what people relate to are stories and personality. And so if you share a little bit of yourself in your social media and you showcase some of your fun personality through stickers or for videos or through putting your headshot on, people are gonna feel like they can relate to you more and that's gonna help them feel more comfortable engaging with you. So that's just my personal tip, not really related to Canva or anything, but this, I think that's why Canva is so cool because it really gives you the chance to put your own personality and your own little spin on all these different templates, but without having the need to be a professional designer. Because again, I'm certainly not, not all of us can be, but this is a great step and a great tool in your arsenal to be able to make stellar, professional level social media content without any hassle. I really hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, again, I'm Ashley, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Randy and I are happy to follow up with you. We really, really hope this was really helpful for you. And thank you again to Randy for having me back. I'm really glad everyone liked it so much and have a great rest of your day, agentpreneurs. Bye. Wow, what a great episode. I really hope you enjoyed today's show. Ashley, thank you so much for doing this. Ashley, like Cameron, is another person who's behind the scenes making sure that this show goes off flawlessly and we have great guests and great content. Thank you, Ashley, for doing that today. All of you out there, I know that you love these hands-on tips and tricks, and hopefully you're able to put some of those things to use today. Until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.